Israel Adesanya wants to fight Yoel Romero, okay? You know somebody that wants to fight? Yeah, exactly. Nobody wants to fight him. Believe me, we make the phone calls. Nobody wants to fight Yoel Romero. Israel wants to fight him. Israel has the title. Um, Israel feels that his legacy will not be complete if he doesn't beat Yoel Romero. How do you not respect that? I respect it. And people will want to see it. And I promise you it will be a great fight. Um, so we're going to do it. Five times in one year. And I, I had a hell of a fight against a, a tough Mexican. I beat and defended my belt, my interim belt. I defended it against the so-called undisputed champ. And I did what Joel Romero couldn't do in 10 rounds. I did it in two. Very, very explosive. He's been behind on, on, on a number of fights, came back with a devastating knockout. Uh, so that makes him very, very dangerous. Doesn't matter whether he's, he's 42 or 32, he is still a benchmark guy and he's also very, very durable. He takes a lot of shots, um, he doesn't really show the, the, uh, the impact from it. He, he's very rarely been hurt and when he has been hurt he comes back. Uh, so, so look, that makes him a, a genuine challenge and not forgetting he's a southpaw as well. Israel is obviously a very long technical striker. Um, he's very precise with what he does, um, you know, and he's very good at uh, you know, getting fighters to, to double the impact um, as they walk on to shots. So you know, I, I think it's, it's, a, it's a challenging fight. It's one that maintains the intensity and urgency, and, uh, but it's one I, I think uh, yeah, quite clearly uh, we think we can win. You know, people who talk about losing streaks have got to take into account the context and the judging scenario. So Romero, Romero is dangerous. Um, we think we've got the right plan for him, but he's not a guy you can underestimate. And remember too, at 42 years of age, uh, he is a guy who's not going to have many chances. This could be last chance saloon for Romero. So he is going to prepare. He is going to bring everything that he has to offer. And uh, you, you cannot uh, underestimate that in a, in a fighter who's getting very close to his swan song. You know, that ability to wind up one more time and find excellence, particularly when he's been so close, it's palpable. So this is, this is a very dangerous fight and uh, we've just really got to be right on top of our game for 101 percent of the fight. Uh, Mikov. He's not like training um, jiu-jitsu now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Currently we've got... That easy guy. Yeah, easy guy. Oh, wow. Oh. You're going to get those Conor McGregor numbers, huh? I'm going to get those Ezra Adesanya numbers. Yeah, I mean, look, brought a lot of attention to our game at a time when it needed it, and now I'm about to do the same. Who did? Who did that? No, nah, no, nah, nah, he didn't though. He didn't. That's a lot of pressure. He's talking to him. Oh, he already cracked him. Look at his eye. Oh! That's it, man. Come on. Oh, hold on. Get out, cowboy. Yeah. Yeehaw. That's nice over. It's done, son. Over. This nigga. Dang. That was tight. For me, I was like, yeah, if we get to the layer around, sure, but.
So, was that, that first punch? No, yeah, I think so. That first crack got him with the elbow, I think. He said the shoulder, something about the shoulder. Jump up, yeah. jumping up, going over. This is number one bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> so someone was the first one I saw do that. Oh, oh, oh. This nigga did with those on Lance head kicks next minute. Good setup, shows the right hand. Oh, that's nice. Just a little touch, a little touch of the right hand. Just a little touch of the right hand. Or left hand, sorry. Show the left hand. Yeah. He's so, it's like he picked his mark and he just hits it. Good fight though, man. Good fight. Let's go. Mac G. In the gym. Fuck. Upper body strength, explosive power. That's all we need. So what we do is we drop the weight completely. For example, we'll do a bench press and then we'll go into a med ball chest pass. So quite light, 5 kgs compared to 80 kgs. So the contrast generate as much force in the shortest period of time. And boom. Boom. <laughs> charitable guy sometimes I do things for charity it's not really about the records it's not really about the stock sometimes it's just about it's not even about the belt it's just I just want to beat up the toughest guys I said I want to I want to beat up the people of our of our, our generation right now who are considered the, the you know the best of the best and he's one of them regardless of stoolgate regardless of missing weight he's one of them so I just have to take him out How are you? What are you up to? Just finished working out. Nap time. See you, bro. Woo. exactly this one but I've always had the like the vision of getting something with paddle shift and something to flex with so I mean it's a new it's a Kiwi card the guy who invented this is a Kiwi so it just kind of fit everything just fit perfectly and one thing actually I didn't even choose this car this car chose me because it looks exactly like Kurama of uh, Naruto literally identical and 720s there's 720 episodes in the naruto series so it all it all just made sense i didn't choose the car the car chose me tail beast 